<laughs> Real adventure. Make sure you balance yourself. Good. So my sisters are about to go on a horseback riding adventure since they missed the camel. <laughs> All right, they're doing the horseback riding here, and they they got on like a professional. They <laughs> the first time I got on the horse here in Guatemala, I literally slid off. So <laughs> they got on the first try, and they did really really good. Proud of them. Thumbs up, girls. Morales. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye. We're at Amantita Bay Hotel. This is one of our favorite hotels here in um, Puerto Barrios. I mean, there's beautiful um, things to see, a lot of nature. There's just so many beautiful things that you see when you're out there. There's breathtaking view over here in the moonshine, surrounded by nature. You know, they have different activities that you could do. You could have horseback riding and just, you know, just enjoy all of the nice amenities. We, we're going to walk over there by the ocean in a little bit and you'll see the ocean. You have the pool, delicious food. And it's a beautiful estate. The estate is just so massive. We're gonna keep walking so you could get, you know, just a little peek, sneak peek at this luxurious resort over here. This is our third time actually coming here. And we continue to come here because it's so nice, it's secluded, it's quiet, affordable, it's safe, you know, a really nice rate, you know. I mean, if you look at all of these different um, hotel rooms or cabanas or whatever you wanna call it, we have private rooms to yourself. Everything is just nice. Kept really, really clean. And again, just a beautiful place to stay. If you just want to unwind and relax, get away from the busy, busy scene of Puerto Barrios, this is the place to be. of this beautiful resort. Um, the restaurant is behind us over there. Beautiful, nice restaurant. We have international cuisine. We have several pools that we're gonna show you later on. But right now we're gonna walk to the private beach. Beautiful area. Just look at this beautiful surrounding. We have one of the pools over here on your side back there. With slides and everything that you could enjoy. And you have to this side where you can play volleyball or soccer or whatnot. Again, this is the private beach. The beach is exclusively for just um, people who stay at the hotel, the guests at the hotel.
just made it here to Livingston, aka La Puga. My sisters are here. We're taking them on an adventure to La Puga, and we're gonna just enjoy the scenery, have some breakfast. We had a great, smooth boat ride from Puerto Barrios to um, Livingston. So we're just gonna enjoy the scenery right now and have, again, a nice, delicious breakfast. We're gonna eat a Buga Mama. Let's go. Okay. Buga Mama. Hay pesca, allá están los pescadores, ¿vale? Ah, por, por eso que están todos los pelicanos así juntos allá. Oh, there's sardine. What? Look, right here, the fishermen. They got the sardine there. Ahí le tiran sardine, que todos están llenos. Ah, la, la, la. Pero eso es lo que sobró, ¿ah? Ajá, lo que sobra, que ya no le sirve a ellos, ellos se lo tiran a ellos. Oh, qué buena. They, those are the leftovers that they're not going to keep. They give it to the pelican, pelicans. We are arriving in Siete Altares. This is basically a waterfall. And it's a good uh, 10 minute uh, boat ride from La Buga Livingston. We are here at the seven altars <laughs> in English and we are going to see the beautiful waterfalls and just take a tour of the caravan side over here in Livingston in La Buga and just enjoy nature. Beautiful, beautiful, spectacular trees. I love looking at trees. I love all the greenery that's over here. Um, you know, it's just really nice. So we're gonna just um, take in all the views and have you come along with us for this nice little adventure. Mm -hmm. okay. How do you like this place? down to the ancestors. I'll say watering hole, <laughs> but this is sacred waters for the Garrett and the people. You know, it's really um, nice and calm and really relaxing. 
So we're going to take a moment to just enjoy this sacred place. You know, be one with the ancestors, one with the nature, and just enjoy the moment. Okay, here Cheryl is going to collect some of the water from Siete Altares. Hi! Again, so I'm here getting ready to collect some um, sacred water to put on our altar. We have water, um, we have water here from um, this beautiful stream. We have water from Beliso, which we um, use to put on our altar at home to honor our ancestors. So is Jessica also taking some of the water? Repetilo, papá. Hasta allá arriba de la montaña hay un, hay un nacimiento. Entonces eh, pusieron la manguera, la gente de la aldea, y aquí vienen a traer agua a ellos para, para tomar y para cocinar. Gracias. gracias. For drinking and for cooking. So we are here at Agua Caliente, hot water. It's a nice warm spring, volcanic spring here in the Garrafan side of life in the Isabel territory, Isabel de territory. So we're gonna go and take a nice little um, sauna in the middle of the natural springs here. These are the thermal waters and it's medicinal. So we're gonna explore a little bit more. So the last time that we went to a hot spring, it was in Sulu. That's on the other side of the country. Yeah, so now we're in this one. It's a, it's a miniature one, you know, natural hot spring. I'm about to get in and see. And that one was volcanic. This is not actually. Okay, so this is not volcanic. It's just a natural hot, ooh. Oh, it's nice and warm. Can I see little fish here? Okay. Holding on. Oh, holding on to the water. Uh, this, is, this is like really warm. Hmm. Got to be careful because the rocks are a little bit, you know, slippery and stuff. But, oh my, oh my God, this is hot. This is good. It's nice and warm. Yeah. It's not like Salil. I mean, I have to be honest, I love Salil more than I love this because it was the volcanic rocks and everything. But this feels good. The water is nice and warm. Yeah. Okay, Bill, explain what you're doing here. I'm eating my coconut <laughs> after I drink my drink. So I'm just enjoying the coconut. So I cut it out and I just eat it and enjoy it. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I took it. I took it. <laughs> and it's good with vitamins. It's good with vitamins. 
it's pretty filling. So you just, you know, you cut it out and then you eat it. And you just enjoy it. Let, let, me, let me, Yankee people don't know about that. <laughs> they are coconut. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but I'm sorry. Ronnie, here wash I'm over here. Huh? Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, it feels good. Right? What the heck? My sister's making me get wet. Are uh, you see? Aha! That's what I'm talking about. Jessica did it, ladies and gentlemen. Jessica did it. I'm not afraid. <laughs> well, I'm afraid. Call me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm afraid. We have an expert right here doing the coco loco. Peligrosa esa mujer con machete y sin machete, cuidadito. A ver que no vengan a joder con ella aquí. Si no macheteados van a salir. Bueno pues. Tenía una pregunta. ¿Cómo se llama este negocio? ¿Cuál es el nombre del negocio? Que está localizado aquí en el paso de Río Dulce. ¿Cuál es, cuál es la dirección de aquí más o menos? ¿Cómo se ubica? Bueno, este restaurante. Bueno, este restaurante se, se llama Agua Caliente. Y se localiza en la aldea Barra Lámpara. Y este, este río se llama Cañón del Río. ¿Ustedes son los dueños de esta propiedad? No. Solo rentan aquí. Sí. Ah, bueno. ¿Su familia cómo se llama? Si sí, quiere compartirlo, si no, no. Mi familia, bueno. Son apellidos de Cajón. ¿Cómo? Cajón. Cajón. ¿Y vienen de dónde? Aquí son así de Barranca. ¿De aquí? ¿Locales? Sí, ah. de Lima, son aquí. Ah. ¿Y qué idioma hablan? Maya del Chi. Maya del Chi. Muchas gracias, muy amable por la entrevista y realmente la felicito porque tiene una habilidad para el machete. Así es de que mejor la dejo en paz antes de que se enaje conmigo. Gracias.
here in Livingston and we're about to do a grand tour. This is the park. This is a newly developed area. When I started um, traveling to Livingston, um, maybe perhaps 24 years ago, this was not here. It's newly developed. It's a community park. They have basketball games and other games over here. It's very beautiful. This is the area where, in my opinion, should be a welcoming center. So when people come to Livingston, the first thing they um, enter is a welcoming center, which talks about their history and let people know that they're actually coming to an area that, you know, is the poor garrison of people. So we're gonna take a tour. We're gonna walk around Livingston as we head towards um, one of our favorite restaurants. So, we're walking and talking and giving you <laughs> some, um, just the beautiful view that is Livingston. Beautiful trees, beautiful natural greenery. My sisters are here with me. This is their first time in Livingston. They're gonna take that infamous hike up the hill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh, heck no. It's not that bad. It is more, it's, it, it's really not that bad. If you turn that way, that's the hill that we're gonna head up. Again, it's not that bad. Once you do it, once it's easy. Nice little short hike. Bueno, estamos aquí en un negocio, un emprendedor garífuna de apellido, yo creo que parece François. Los Sánchez. Es, ah, de Los Sánchez, uy, de los fundadores de aquí de La Buga. Así es de que tu nombre completo, compañero. Henry, 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 Henry Sánchez. Sánchez, ok. Y contanos qué es lo que estamos comprando aquí. Eh, gifitazo, esa bebida es buenísima, es una bebida tradicional de aquí que es a base de raíces. Es bueno para dolor de estómago, diabetes, circulación de sangre y es afroisiaco. O sea que mi problema es de que yo ya no puedo tener hijos, ¿será que eso me da saca el milagro? Claro. So yeah. you, I'm gonna have babies now. Oh, sí. right? I, could, I could have baby with my wife, right? Okay. Puedo tener hijos con claro, mi señora ahora. Claro. Cheryl, you listen to that? Yes. So you're gonna get pregnant. Oh. Te vas a embarazar. And it'll be his fault. Es la culpa de él, la culpa de él. Ajá. Bien naro, tía. Ajá. Amén. Buena onda. Así es de que gracias por tu no, man, gracias producto y te agradecemos y ya compramos nuestro Gifty hey. familia. Si sí. ustedes vienen de toda Guatemala o de cualquier parte del mundo, no se olviden de pasar aquí con el señor Sánchez. Yes, man. Porque él tiene a la venta productos Garifuna y hay que apoyar el emprendedor Garifuna. Garifuna. Ah. Support Garifuna businesses. Whenever you are in Livingston, go out of the way to support Garifuna businesses, okay? That's what we're doing. All of the places that we're going to, all of the people that we have um, made sure that we contributed to is supporting Garifuna businesses from the launch from here. We're making sure that we support Garifuna businesses and uplift our community here in Livingston. Yeah, it's our life. It's our life. We are heading to our favorite restaurant, one of our favorite restaurants while we're here in La Boga, Livingston. We are heading to Tres Garifunas. The food there is absolutely delicious. You've seen us many times featured this place and we always come back here because the food is great. So here we are, this beautiful location. Is this yours? No problem. Oh, 
So we are having, I am having a delicious plate of garlic shrimp with rice and beans and plantain and salad. My sisters are having traditional hotu. We are they couldn't wait to like delve into the hudut. Like they were like, they have hudut. Sorry. They have hudutu. Yeah, lamade. Lamade. Okay. And then you are having fried fish with some banana fritters. With some banana fritters. You know, so we're about to enjoy this. Oh, and our coco loco. You know, the beverage of our vacation. So is what's coco in loco. it? Coco loco is natural coconut, as you can see, off the coconut tree with some banana rum and this one has a, some um, lemon squeezed into it. It's really delicious. I love the flavor. I love the citrus flavor that was added to this particular coco loco that we've had. And the food, oh my god, the food here is always delicious. So if you are in Livingston, again, come to La, yeah, miss it. Las Tres Queritona restaurant. You know, this is our thing of making sure that we support Garifuna businesses. You know, this video, particularly here in Livingston and, and, and this area, is to make sure that we highlight Garifuna businesses. So when you come here, you support Garifuna businesses. You know, that's the communal thing. We need to support each other, okay? So when you're here, come to this beautiful location. The people here are very nice. The service is excellent. The food is delicious. So when you are in La Buda, AKA Livingston, make sure you come here. Cheryl, can you explain why do you eat the uh, food without utensils? Because it tastes better. It yep. tastes better, number one, and that was the way we traditionally ate. Utensils is not a, uh, it's not an indigenous thing. Utensils is a European thing. So most indigenous people, whether they are Garifuna or anywhere in the world, indigenous people in the world typically eat with their fingers. You'll see that, you know, from the Pakistanis, you'll see that in, in India, you'll see that in Africa, you see that all throughout the indigenous world that they eat with their, with their mana, with their hands. You mano. Know, mano, with their mano, with their hands, with their fingers. And again, something about eating with your fingers just make everything taste better. better. Yep. You know, so here we go. <laughs>